What's with delusions? Why are they so misunderstood? And what is actually a delusion? What does that even look like? Sometimes it can be hard to tell until it happens to you yourself. And even when it happens to you, you might not even know. So let's take a look at delusions. delusions are one of the lesser understood symptoms of psychosis and I think this is because the word delusion or the word delusional get thrown around really casually with things that aren't actually related. I think a lot of mental health terms tend to get skewed this way being used as adjectives rather than symptoms or diagnoses. For instance, narcissist and sociopath tend to get thrown with like, oh, my ex-boyfriend is such a sociopath. And usually they're not. They're actually rare personality disorders. They're not adjectives to describe someone you broke up with. So delusional gets used in a similar fashion. I tend to see it used with like extremist politicians a lot by people who don't agree with their views. But let it be clear that delusions, which are fixed false beliefs, are not the same as having opinions and views. Fixed false beliefs are unfounded in reality and cannot be shaken. There is absolutely nothing you can say to a delusional person to break them out of that belief, no matter how extreme the belief is, no matter how much evidence you present to prove that what they're believing is wrong, they will always find a way to shape their belief around like explaining away the truth or, you know, rationalizing things because these beliefs to them, they are real, they feel real. Uh, there's absolutely no telling this person it's not real. Delusional beliefs can be really out there and they can be very detailed and specific and like there can be a whole world built around them, but they make no sense. To anyone outside of the delusion, they make no sense. I have had some really weird ones that are just, like I said, they're unshakable. They're so realistic, there is no doubting it. And so to better explain how wacky these beliefs can be and how incredibly cemented they are in my belief system, um, I'm just gonna give you some examples of my five most noteworthy or most common delusions. The first, um, example I have for you is probably one of the most common delusions that I've had in most of my episodes and that is being pregnant with the Antichrist or just being pregnant at all but most commonly with the Antichrist and this is a great example of how no amount of proof can shake this belief because I did get physical proof that I wasn't pregnant and I still didn't believe it. I went to a pharmacy and I got a pregnancy test and I took it and it came, out, it came back negative and it just made me believe it more because I was like, okay, so the devil's child cannot be detected on a pregnancy test because it's the devil's child. So if anything, this just proves it more that I'm pregnant with the Antichrist because that's just how the devil works and he wouldn't tell me it was positive. So this makes more sense to me. It made no sense, but I couldn't have enough proof to get me to believe otherwise. There was nothing anyone could say to me. I just honestly believed for as long as it took to kind of wane that I was pregnant with the Antichrist. The second most common delusion is just being a god. Maybe not specifically the god, but a god. Um, some days I would think I was immortal, other times I would think I had these god-given powers, um, I thought I could heal people, um, I thought it was my responsibility to save the world because I was a god. It wasn't necessarily like a superiority complex because sometimes I was very conflicted about being a god and I felt like it was a heavy responsibility to weigh on me and I didn't actually want to be a god. So there was a lot of turmoil with being a god once I realized in my godlike mind that I had this huge role in the universe and that I was responsible for like a whole planet. Um, it was stressful. I wouldn't recommend 
being a god, it, it didn't feel great. I think a lot of people might think that's an exciting delusion to have because you'd have all this power, but really it just came with crushing responsibility. Then a delusion that I think I only really had in one episode, but was super prominent in that episode was being in outer space. And this was both beautiful and absolutely terrifying. And I think, you know, in part it was beautiful because it was associated with a hallucination. Sometimes my hallucinations wouldn't be like concrete things. They would be almost like a projection, like the way a projector projects a movie onto a screen. It was as if the hallucination was projected onto my environment. And I had a very messy environment because when I go psychotic, I kind of hoard things and I move things around a lot. So there would be like piles of clothes and piles of objects and the landscape would kind of be thrown on top of that. So say I was hallucinating that I was in a mountain range, like piles of books and stuff would be part of the mountain range. It would just sort of mold itself to the environment. So that's why it was a beautiful delusion because I would look around me and I could like kind of see what was underneath space, but mostly I was just seeing like these really vivid colors and com cosmos like overlaid on top of my room. It was terrifying though, because um, I guess like I was the only female in space and I was like, artificially inseminated against my will to repopulate the human race on Mars. And when I found out this alongside the pregnancy delusion, it's very terrifying whenever I'm pregnant. Um, and I, I was terrified of getting sent out into space and I was scared of like the space station breaking. I never wanted to leave the space station like I think I would just naturally be afraid to be in outer space anyway, and that was like coming through. Next up, I commonly uh, would think that I was the only human left on the planet, and all of the people around me were really just aliens in disguise, and they were all tricking me because they were trying to say like, capture me. They had captured all the other humans and taken over their bodies. Oh, I guess that's like invasion of the body snatchers. I've never seen that, but isn't that the plot? Um, let me know. Anyway, yeah, they were taking over the human race and I was the only human left. And I, yeah, I just thought everyone was aliens and that they were faking and that no one would, no one would confess to me that they were all taking over Earth. So that was also on like the other side of that. Sometimes they weren't necessarily aliens. Sometimes I thought they were androids and I thought it was like androids overtaking the Earth. And again, they were all keeping this from me and no one would tell me what was really going on. So, you know, being the only person left on earth was sometimes really lonely and I didn't trust anyone, anyone. Finally, this delusion only really happened once in one episode, but I believed that I was on like a hidden camera reality TV show. And I thought that there were like hidden camera crews all around me, but I couldn't see them because they were, you know, looking through peepholes in the walls or something. And all of the people who were around me were like part of the cast, almost like I was in the Truman Show and everybody knew about it but me. And they were like playing along, they were acting, and I was the only one who didn't know that I was being filmed. And when I finally caught on, that I was being filmed, I sort of played along too and sort of acted out my life. And maybe that was the only time I seemed normal. I don't know, but that was that was a weird one just because I, yeah, I was just kind of like going through the motions and acting like unpsychotic to, you know, mask my psychosis. So those are just a few examples of what some of my delusions have been. And I know a lot of the ones I've shared are actually fairly common because I've talked about it with other people who have also been a god or been pregnant with the Antichrist. If you yourself have had any out there delusions that you'd like to share, I'd be very interested to hear what your beliefs were because it is such a fascinating disorder. It is so indescribable. Um, but I think the more that people can connect over it, the more understanding there can be, and that can kind of help normalize it and break the stigma.